On March 2013, I was driving my BMW. It was about 10 o'clock at night. And when I stopped at the stoplight, my car cut off. In BMWs, the battery is in the trunk. So I got out of my car, walked to my trunk, and that's all I remember. I woke up in the hospital three days later. I lost both of my legs, one leg above the knee and one leg below the knee. I was scared. I was nervous. I was angry at myself, but I was, I was grateful to be alive ultimately. When did you become familiar with Hanger Clinic? Okay, so my surgeon told me that he had a peer visitor that he could call for me. So when my peer visitor came in, <laughs> he's like this cool guy. So he comes into the room and he basically like lights up the whole room. And he drove all the way from Charlotte just to, just to see me and encourage me. His name was Steven Show. And like Steven, he has both of his legs, but he was in a motorcycle wreck and he lost both of his arms. So he still could relate. Every hangar clinic that I have been in, you walk in the door, you feel like they're inviting you in. Honestly, I can say hangar clinic changed my life. Who came to visit you at the hospital? Everyone. <laughs> Everyone came to visit me. Uh, so I'm from a small town, Williamston. Uh, it's in North Carolina. One of my old classmates, Rebecca, started a Facebook page for me. Um, called Steps for Shima. Other people outside of like my close family and friends, they started to see things that I was doing and they felt encouraged and inspired to be able to keep going. My role model is my mom. From the day I was in the hospital, I don't remember her ever leaving my side. Oh, I'm gonna get teary. She went above and beyond what a mother is and she showed me true love to make sure that I could not give up and that I was still fighting. You know, within our program, our students get the opportunity to work alongside physical therapy students, occupational therapy students, and in some cases, rehab counseling. Shima's in her second year right now. Um, and she's about to have just one semester to go. She'll be graduating in the spring and uh, will be beginning her residency and employment soon. I go to Alabama State for prosthetics and orthotics. I want to help other people like me and other people with different abilities. We have been recipients of what's essentially a grant that is the, the Hanger Foundation Diversity Scholarship. So with the scholarship, I received financial assistance towards my tuition. Um, I also received a mentor. I have the opportunity to get a residency. I think it's a really meaningful step to advancing the diversity of the field. I cannot say I have ever had a prosthetist that was a female or a prosthetist that was African American. My first memory of Shima is the summer before we started grad school. We decided to have like a cohort Zoom meeting. I think I've told her in a text message that summer that like I don't know what it is about her but I just felt like I could trust her. I have to be the person that when I walk into the room my patient sees me and they're like, oh my God, she's like me. I want my patients to be able to be their best self. I want them to know they're not just a patient to me. I want them to be able to hear my story and feel self-motivation. I want them to be able to feel like they can do whatever they want to do in life. It's okay to feel down sometimes, but you can't stay there. You have to get up have to keep going you have to keep moving it's like wait isn't the thing like move shift go or something like that yeah i'm gonna use that by the way <laughs>